by Andy Evans here. Uh, welcome to podcast uh, 31 of making a guitar at home or in your garage. Um, yeah, the last podcast I was, I was talking about um, famous people who, uh, who bought our guitars and I was suddenly thinking, I was coming up with a few other ones. Uh, I don't know if you remember Ian, Ian Hunter. He was the uh, guitarist from Mott the Hoople. Um, all the Young Dudes was one of their hits that they, they wrote, it was a, a Bowie song. Um, I think he made one for him, and also the ELO guy. Um, it's quite interesting living here in Can in uh, Antibes, uh, which is near Cannes in the south of France. Um, I, um, I work on some uh, yachts, some really beautiful yachts. And I've got an interesting story I can tell you about Sting on, um, on a yacht um, that I worked on. Um, Eleanor, a 50, 50 metre classic uh, sailing yacht that's based in Cannes. Um, I, was talking, I was doing a bit of varnish on there, you know, um, and um, I was talking to one of the crew, crew guys. And he said every night Sting used to come up on the bow of the boat with his acoustic and uh, do a few tunes, you know, and it's great. And we're like listening to him every night. And um, then one night, who flies in? Eric Clapton flies in. And um, you pick him up at the airport, and, uh, and the, he stays for a few days with Sting and, uh, in Cannes Harbour on the bow of the boat, Eleonora, classic sailing yacht. Uh, you've got Sting and you've got Eric Clapton um, jamming every night, um, singing, jamming. So this city was really good. Um, so you get some interesting stories around here. Uh, as I say, I live in South France, beautiful place. Uh, when the sun's out, it's uh, raining today. <coughs> um, so. Um, also, there was a famous uh, blind guitarist around in um, uh, the 80s. I forget his name, but he's really, really famous. He is one of our guitars. He's sitting on his knee with it. And uh, I'll have to Google who he was because he was a bit of a legend, you know. Um, Eric Clapton nearly bought one. Um, um, I believe he's very interested, but he was tied into um, Fender at the time. He had a contract with Fender. And I believe Fender were paying him quite a lot of money to uh, just to use Fenders in public. So yeah, it's good if you can get um, a, a good um, uh, named um, you know guitarist using your guitar. Something is really good. Say so we had a lot of session guys and um, a lot of session guys using our guitars. You know, a few famous types. All right. Um, yeah, I just I just thought I'd uh, share that one with you. Um, on my white guitar that I'm making, uh, you saw it in the last podcast, uh, I've decided to use the spoke wheel adjuster on the truss rods. Uh, it's one that you can just put like a, um, you can, you can put a small screwdriver in and adjust it without taking any covers off or anything like that. And the heel of the guitar, I prefer it there because it leaves this end a bit stronger. Um, if you're using a maple neck like, um, Fender do, um, or other, guitar, other guitar companies will use um, maple necks, you know, rock maple, very strong, and if you've got a flat, um, flat headstock, it's not, it's not a leaning back headstock like Fender do, also very strong. Um, in my eight years of guitar making, I've only fixed, I think it was one Fender neck that was actually broke, um, the Gibson necks, I used to fix every two weeks, because they've got this um, headstock really slopes backwards and where you adjust the um, the truss rod here it's quite a big hole there I think it's like 14 mil hole or 16 mil and it's quite close to the back of the um, heel of the um, not the heel sorry the back of the head so it's very close to the, the back of the neck so if it drops on its back it would break you know so I was thinking about this somebody was asking me about um, what guitar to recommend you know for a beginner and um, Gibson's a nice Strats are nice. Um, there's lots of guitars out there. Um, if you've got a tough, really tough, sturdy guitar, Telecaster or a Strat, Strat uh, um, a Squire Strat, you know, or a Fender Strat, American Strat, very good, uh, very strong. Great, you know, great for a good guitarist as well. But um, if I if I was um, a beginner and I wanted something that was uh, sturdy and played well, and I'd go for like a Tele or a, or a Strat. 
Uh, I'm going to make some tellies. I like telecasters. Um, not so much strats. I made too many of them, and there's too many strats in the world. Copies, you know. Uh, lots of copies out there, and uh, I think it's the most copied guitar going. Pretty sure of that. All right. Um, short and sweet one today. Um, I'll see you in the next. See you next time, and thanks for watching.